So how does a bat know how to find its prey when they're quite small and they're moving quite fast and it can't see them because it's night time? Or equally, how does a boat know how deep the water is that it's floating in? Or maybe there's a fisherman and they want to find out where that shoal of fish is. How does it actually detect what's underneath it? Well, both of these things use this echolocation. Now for a bat, it sends out a really high pitched signal above 20,000 hertz. It's actually out of the audible range of humans, but it sends out this ultrasound signal it comes away from the bat, it reflects off the prey, and then it's, some of that signal is bounced back. And if the bat can detect how long it took for it to go there and come back again, it can then work out the distance. We use the same thing with sonar, so this is using audible sound, and what happens is that a signal is sent out from the boat, some of that signal is reflected off whatever it's looking for, and then it, the boat basically times how long it takes for the signal to go there and come back again. Now, if we know the speed of that wave in that medium, so maybe we know the speed of sound in water, and we know the time it took, we can then calculate the distance to that object. So we'll imagine there's a small unit down here. It sends out a signal. Some of that signal bounces off the bottom of the sea, and then it was reflected back to the boat. Now, what we might know is that we can actually record the time it takes for the signal to go from there to there and back again. We might also know how quickly that sound travels in this seawater, for example, if this is a boat at sea. And we can then use this information to work out the distance above the bottom of the ocean. Now, here's the thing. We know that uh, speed is equal to the displacement divided by the time. And therefore, we can say that um, the displacement is equal to the speed times time. But if all we use is the time it takes to go there and back again, this is actually recording twice the distance that we need. So uh, it's going there and coming back again. And therefore, we need to half this answer to work out the actual distance s from here to here. So in this case, uh, if we're looking at maybe the depth of water, we know that the distance or the depth of that water is going to be equal to a half times the speed times the time that it took. This is the kind of thing that people forget to do. They forget to either multiply something by two or divide it by two when they're working out these answers. But that's basically the principle behind sonar and echolocation. You send a signal, it bounces off something, and then it comes back again. And this is used in all sorts of applications, not just bats and not just the depth of water, but these are just two examples. So anyway, that's uh, how you work out the distance of something using uh, sound.